We're definitely heading into the home stretch on 1800 Robanzia. We've got a ton of detail work left to do in a small amount of time, so we're starting with the exterior pillar install. Good morning! These look good! Yeah, they're nice. They'll, they'll work well. I feel like they're just way more tamed down. They're gonna fit way better. Do you like them? Yeah, I made them. <laughs> This is a big day for Allison. The countertops are going in. I could have carried that piece. <laughs> right hot off the shelves. Hot, is that a saying? Hot off the press. Yeah, the counters look good. I'm excited to get the island top in. We should lift it with the wheels on it, because then we can get it in and then just wheel it over. How are we going to do this? Are you able to slide it? Come this way. All right. Oh, nice. That's one way to do it. <laughs> It worked with gigantic machines and gigantic men. This looks really good. This stuff is manufactured stone that looks like soapstone. <laughs> oh, <laughs> people don't ever have to worry about like hot pots or pans, anything acidic. I really like the texture, the leathered finish feels great. Can you take the blanket out? It'll be like uh... a magic trick. <laughs> and this is why I come to job sites. Like a construction matador. <laughs> this is gonna help us sell the home. Getting the island encounters crossed off my list is huge. Nice. Now I've got to go check in with Ari on his projects. What's the budget? Here we go. The existing fireplace didn't fit at all. It was the wrong era and the wrong style. But I found this antique one in a shop and it brings back the history that this home deserves. I love it. Not bad, not bad. I like it too. And just how you matched the original, brought it back up, threw it on a horizontal. This was from 1902, oh. and yeah. then you made this just to kind of match and pull that back in. This looks so good. Yeah, thank you. This just modernizes yeah, it. Yeah, it's cool. I love this, how it's gonna tie back in the black to the front door. Okay. And the door, look at this thing. Yeah. We'll do like a really cool little knocker over here. But you see what I'm talking about, right? So yeah. black and white outside, black door, black and white here with the fireplace, right, in the marble. Very pretty. And then just through here, I'm gonna do like a gray wash on the floor. That's nice. So it's not your typical kind of brown. And that's why I think that's gonna work with these. And this, I loved, listen, nobody gets this. This is huge. That's yeah, it's big. So this <laughs> could either be like a pantry or a really cool like bar. Yeah, that'd be, I like that idea. Don't you think? Good whiskey and the, bar. the height of it, I think, balances out with the height of the fireplace and just creates a different element. A couple handles here. Lined. Yeah. Since the guys have the countertops in, I can knock out this kitchen backsplash. I picked this classic subway tile, got a manufactured stone, and then you've got a real marble. But I loved this just because it's got a lot of blue undertones and that's gonna pull back in the island. So I think it's classic, I think it's clean, and I just think it's gonna appeal to the masses and that's what we need to sell these homes. Blending tiles is the most important thing to do when you're working with natural material. It's actually kind of impressive. Upstairs, Ari's about to hang a custom barn door he built so we can hide an inset TV. Show off your closet, and then if not, you close it up and you're watching TV. I love it, I love the tones of it. And once the floor's stained, the floor's gonna pick up a lot more of this kind of gray. Yeah. I'm into it. We're looking to sell this house for 1.4 million, meaning every single detail that I put back into this house is gonna end up paying off. Oh uh, yeah. Covers your TV. Voila. Love the finish. That's your, that's gonna clear it. Yeah. TV? No TV. Downstairs is a basement, a media room, kind of extra space for people, and it's kind of your theater. So I wanted to add an accent wall. When I saw the barnwood door for the master closet upstairs, I wanted to do something similar in the basement. Found this awesome barnwood, it's all grayed out. I think it's gonna match well with, you know, all the wood tones in the floor upstairs. Exactly what we, oh, I just got a splinter. <laughs> I touched you for a second and I'm already injured. Well, don't point that at my face. It's a safety. It doesn't matter. Got it? Yeah. Now, just a little hair off. How you living? How you living? Go. Large. Huh. Huh. Oh. Why am I the man in this relationship? I feel like that's a lot of relationships. Fired up. It's probably like a hundred year old barn outside of Chicago. I love the grayed out tones. And I think this whole wall all the way up is gonna be a really cool focal wall for like a TV. 
<laughs> we did good. We're in the home stretch now. We're gonna get stain going on the floors, do our final trim work. To me, a house comes to life when like lighting's getting put in. And we're not there yet. So we're installing tile. It's kind of a tight master bathroom, but with the tile that I picked, I feel like it opened it up. The shower is gonna be open with the glass enclosure. I love this. What do you think? It looks great. Clean, crisp. You got a little bit of like manufactured stone with the marble. You've got cans, so there's plenty of light. The window brings in a lot of natural light. But what do you think about, and I know it's kind of 80s, but I love it, is just the glue on mirror. So we're gonna just mirror all the way to here. It'll make it look bigger. Don't you think? Yeah. Listen, as a homeowner too, it helps you keep in shape. <laughs> I don't know. Because you're looking at yourself. You're always looking at yourself. Okay, so then if you could ha have the template for that, yeah. for the mirrors, I'll get the sconces in, that way they can do the cuts. And then this bathroom is done. Yeah, it looks good. We're completing the master, so that antique piece that I bought is going on top of the awesome built-in closets. I want this closet. Your finger's real long and flat, huh? I told you I was approached to be a hand model. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I should have done it too. <laughs> Who it. offered that job to you? A hand model agent. <laughs> you have a ton of drawer space. You can sit here, you can put your shoes on. When you walk in and the barn door's open, ta da Woo! That's so cool. When we don't finish the closets, Buyers come in and they say, oh, the closets are small. Yeah, and let's add those special details. That's really what's gonna set us apart from every other builder. We're a little bit behind on this house. We really need to finish it quickly. Spring is here. This is the opportune time for starting to sell a home. I feel like it's been the longest winter and it's just stopped me. I'm trying to paint a house. So the minute you see like four days of sun, you just jump on it. To be at this point where we're painting makes me pretty pumped. The paint is the perfect white and it looks so clean with all of our black window frames. Like, it just works. Today's staging day. We're trying to finish up every project inside and out and I need to move furniture. This is when you hope they buy furniture. When you're like, I don't want to move it out. Perfect. Sectional's gonna go down here, facing this way. So staging is one of the most important things when it comes to selling a home. So when they walk in, they feel like they're walking into, you know, a 1.3, 1.4 million dollar house. When people feel like it's a home, they can then envision themselves in it. And sometimes they buy everything that I stage. I would love this closet. We're gonna do this. Yeah! 1800 Wavanzia is done. And today is open house day. We've had a bunch of delays on this house. Now we're at the end of spring, which is prime time buying season. So we bought this house for 770,000. With all the renovation costs, we spent about 348,000 and we're looking to sell for 1,325,000. Renovating homes in this price point leaves a ton of money on the line. So we really need to get this house sold. This house before was the ugliest house on the block. The whole point of buying a house this ugly is to turn it into something beautiful and bring back the Bucktown history that this house deserves. Now the front facade has so much charm. With the white paint and the black accents, the two front porches, the beautiful front door, the columns and my new A-frame, it really is a stately home. And the Chicago Common Brick is exactly what we needed to make sure that this house looks like it's been there for 100 years. The open house is really the unveiling. Champagne. <laughs> Great little treats. I'm really just making everyone feel welcome. And if there's one crumb from a macaron, I'm taking them away. <laughs> I'm really excited about the open house. I'm excited to show it off. Amazing. Wow. The new floor plan is wide open. I love this layout. It's just a real quaint city cottage feel. I think it's a great house for entertaining. You've got so many little areas to just hang out and chat. Your house is beautiful. Thank you. The kitchen is the classic white shaker door and then a hint of color on the island. The blue and the white is a really, really good combo. Also the bar, that's a great area for entertaining. I think the kitchen's my favorite. The live edge shelving ties in perfectly with the pantry doors. And the marble backsplash gives it that upgraded look. <laughs> 